Welcome to the Lost at Home podcast. Here are your hosts, Scott Bear and Jeremiah Johnson. Welcome to the Lost at Home podcast. My name is Scott. And my name is Jeremiah Cole Johnson. And that was surprising. <laughs> that's, my, that's my middle name. You know that. I probably forgot it long, long ago. Yeah. Cole is my father's name. He raped my mother and then I was born. How are you guys doing? We are a when, podcast. When he slipped into your bedroom late at night to molest you, did he, did he say who, who, who's who been bad and who's going to get coal in their stocking? Uh, and by stocking, he meant your ass? My ass? By no, coal, no. he but, meant him? No, but he did oddly tell me how much better I was than my mother. <laughs> He's a, he's oh you're a tastier victim. That's what he said. I'm allowed to say these things because it's about my own childhood that didn't happen. I love my parents. I believe, anyway, I believe his nickname for, for he was Snack. You were a tasty snack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> snack. <laughs> yep. So I'm Jeremiah Snack Johnson. <laughs> he, he'd go to your mom late at night, and be like, ah, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go get myself a snack. Yeah. Ah, Jeremiah, and close your butthole. That's what my mom sounded like. Um, anyway, so that's, that's... That's the story of Christmas, everybody. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's how, uh, shit. That's how we're, we're, Jesus was born. I'm only bringing that up because it's actually snowing here for the it first is. time this yes, year. Yes, we have... Well, we, this we, season. It, it, waited, it waited until uh, November to snow this year, uh, or this, yeah, this season, this, this uh, Christmas season. Uh, I, I can't Christmas. say it hasn't snowed yet this season. year because it, technically it snowed a shit ton. The last time it stopped snowing was yes. uh, second week of June. Yes, we actually had some shit going through June. May and it fucking sucked but uh we're open for maybe like a better winter this time hey uh, welcome to the podcast where we talk about the weather in New England we are a Vermont based podcast but we don't talk about just Vermont stuff we talk about stuff from all over the globe is that like a cue is that like you tipping that to me yeah should you, I have nodded you, you, well no you didn't really nod you didn't even point no I should have you nodded you just stopped talking I stopped talking <laughs> that's a cue that's a cue that's a cue to fill the silence yeah uh, we're a podcast where we take the stories from the internet that fall through the cracks the things you don't hear about on the major media news outlets the fake news yeah and uh, we take those news stories and we twist them into new content while we also discover what those stories are about yes uh, the new content you we learn create a little bit. could yeah. be movies TV shows anything you can think of just content and if you anyone out there has the legs to do this make something of this stuff just give us some kind of producer credit yeah exactly we this is a, what we have called in the past like a little idea goodwill you know kind of we, we put it in the box if you want to take a little bit of it and you want to use elements of it spin it into your own thing that's fine we're coming up with this on the fly so we're, some are going to be good some are not going to be so good and some we will actually say we like this so much you guys can't fucking touch it yeah, we, and uh we, we probably there's probably no legal precedent for no. us saying that people could probably still use it and uh, we would have to come up with money to take you to court. And after you make big mu- bucks on our uh, property, you'll have the money to outlawyer us. So go ahead. Go to town. This is the same level of legal precedent I think I had when I was nine years old and thought that if you had an idea, put it in an envelope and mail and it mail to, to yourself. yourself. The, uh, the stamp, the date, the sealed envelope I would think, all prove that you somehow, had the idea I first. think somehow you, me, and Chris Emerson somehow all made that up together, told it to each other, and thought it was real. Because I remember definitely, yeah. I definitely don't remember hearing it from any adult. I just think no. at some, I think at some point one although of us was par- like, oh, we should do that. Although yeah. my parents <laughs> let me do that. Yeah. I, I wish I still well, of had. Of course, because parents are like, oh, you can, nobody's going to like steal your stupid idea. No, I still and have. And you, you, you typed, you, you, I remember you, you invented Facebook and you mailed it to yourself. You're <laughs> 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 yeah. just like a place where people talk on a computer and you're like, that's Facebook. Like, I really wish I, uh, I don't, I have some stuff from when I was a kid, some art and stuff, but I, if I had those envelopes, I would remember it. Cause I've gone through that stuff like in my twenties yep. and since then it's been like boxed up, but my God, just like not remembering what's in that envelope, but knowing the second you rip it open, <laughs> you, you null and void the contract, the con- the, the that, contract you made that with no one, <laughs> with nobody that doesn't exist. <laughs> But, but like, what if also, that envelope, are you afraid that your well, what if that envelope really... was like AI or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you find out that like oh you're just like I invented Pringles <laughs> yeah and like you could have banked on it if you could have remembered what was in it and the dumb kid is the one who writes on the outside of the envelope the idea that's inside so he, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. he doesn't have to yeah. open it up top secret uh, chips that are sliced <laughs> and stacked in a can yeah. in a can that you can. Just, plop in your mouth because soon someday all of America is going to be obese and want all of their food out of a can yeah there's really no winning with that unless you literally like kept a catalog like of dates like envelope postmarked uh, August 12th uh, 1991 uh, idea for Facebook 
Because otherwise, you'd have a stack of envelopes that would be mixed match with nothing written on them of any note, yeah. any nothing, and you could, you'd have to literally go into court and be like, one of these, and then take like these legal boxes and start <laughs> stacking them on the counter one by one. One of these has the idea from Facebook. Yeah. I submit this as evidence. Yeah. Yes. Uh, those are unopened envelopes with no proof of anything. I'm pretty sure. We have this- to open them one by one in front of the yeah. court, otherwise, it's you know, you'd you think I'm lying. You'd see, okay, here's the first so, one. Uh, Cabbage with a lion's face. Nope. Oh. That's not Facebook. <laughs> Throw it away. And just keep you yeah, one yeah. by one. <laughs> but yeah. reading every idea as you go. Stackable chips. Well, that was a good one, but not Facebook. So we'll put that in a Pringles <laughs> lawsuit pile. Actually, that would make a great comedy <laughs> skit. We already got new yeah. content. We haven't even gotten to any story yet. Just like, it could be like a 30 minute skit. Just It starts off with nope. like all these people, all these characters. You got like Lou, Lou Gossett Jr. in the corner. It's like a bailiff. <laughs> yeah, <of course>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta have Lou Gossett Jr. And L- like, L- LGJ has gotta be in there. But then it boils down to a fixed camera on just you and all these boxes. And it's a torn oh. envelope with a red idea. Oh, wait a minute. Face. Another. No. Face on another face. No, that's not Facebook. Well, well, okay. That on the face off pile. <laughs> yeah. I'm I believe sure. I created face off yeah. before Travolta yeah. ever yeah. got and cast. And this is a whiteboard of like pending lawsuits, and it's just <laughs> yes. you putting like your you lawyers know. just adding yeah. lawsuits. <laughs> Envelope numbers underneath. Yeah, okay, face off. All right, Pringles. And because of the court stenographer and the cameras are on you, that's proof that as you opened it, you know. Yes, of course. You, well, you'd actually have to literally. That's what you need. You need to open it under a court of law. Yeah. Because you don't want to lose those sweet, sweet ideas. And then turn the paper around to make sure you're just not saying yeah. you had that great yeah, idea. Yeah. And show it's just it to like everyone. written in crayon, like slanted, like a sociopath. <laughs> Well, oh, oh yeah, the Golden State Murders. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You oh, mean yes. a book about them that Pat Oswalt's wife did? No, no, doing the murders. Them. <laughs> doing them. No, the murders. Here's oh, a lot of confessions. I'm gonna tuck that one away. <laughs> Pretend we didn't see that one. No, that'd be great. Like you actually like your your copyrights aren't just patents. There's there. sometimes confessions <laughs> of like demented murder. Or just people you wanted to fuck when you were twelve. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ah, Rose uh, Anbar. Oh, that didn't yeah. age well. Oh, the Golden State <laughs> Killer. Golden State Killer. <laughs> it's very different than the Golden State is, Killer. Is there some uh, hockey or uh, figure skating co- competition that gets the Golden the State? The Golden as Skate? The award oh, my God. And somebody goes and. Uh, Golden and Skate Killer. Golden kills the, kills, yeah. kills the winners of Golden it. Golden Skate Killer. We are in episode 283. <laughs> We've done 283 of these. We've done a poor job of actually starting the show, but I loved our first bit of Honestly, content. Honestly, no, that, that's you like that. That's what the show's about. That's, that's the show. We, we, we ramble and we. Uh, we tangentially what come up that with come ideas. from? Let's tra- backtrack. Uh, you getting great by your dad. Yes. Your middle name. That's so where that the, came from. Yes. We base new I content I said my middle, middle name, name in the, the sixth, sixth word of the entire podcast. The sext word. The sext you, word. See, he has some repressed shit going on oh, in yeah. his head. Oh, yeah. That That's, was some... Uh, oh, it's in there. Uh, it's in there. That was some... Uh, 283, Scott. I'm trying to think of a psychologist's name. Who, uh, when you say something, Freud? Uh, that was a Freudian slip. A Freudian slip. Yeah. 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 yeah, I came up with that all by myself. Yes. Uh, I, for some reason, I wanted to make a pun about like not unlike a Slippy and Freud, but I didn't. Uh, I couldn't. Slippery Freud, I think, would be a, a fun sex term. I, don't I know. found this great company for uh, uh, aspiring psychologists online who feel like being sexy, and I got my wife some negligees from there. Uh, some nights when she's wearing it, I'm like, "Honey, that's a that's a great Freudian slip." <laughs> Well, it's a long walk. Well, we are uh, canceled. It was a long <laughs> walk. We are, we are the first podcast to ever get canceled. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. Um, Scott, 283, that's a special number. Uh, so it's you prime. say. It's prime. Uh, we used to do a whole prime segment. We don't do it anymore. We just know when a uh, thing is prime. So guess what? 283 is prime. Moving on. Uh, we have a couple other like uh, uh, segment opener things that we had started doing, and now they're stacking up. And okay? No, we, we do them randomly now when they're applicable. Yes. So one of the ones I wanted to do was fuck those calories. We hadn't done this since uh, Halloween month. I wanted to bring it back. Um, there are approximately 580 calories in 283, get it? That's a uh, show number, grams of baked beans. It would take men 2.3 hours and women 3.12 hours to fuck those calories off based on some random numbers I found online that are probably uh, not corroborated by any I think those measure. are uh, those are called missionary numbers because if you're on the bottom, you're not doing as much work. Uh, yeah, I think that those are missionary numbers, yeah. So the guy Unless doing you have a really aggressive thrust. wife who, uh, who uh, gets on top of you. Oh, yeah. Spreads yes. your legs. Well, yeah. Wait, wait. Are you still talking to, like, 
Missionary. Still missionary, but it's she's missionary, on top. But she's on top. She spreads your legs and fucks you. So not cowgirl, with your but dick. like a missionary, missionary fucking you. Me. Oh, fucking you with your own dick? Yeah. But spreads your legs and gets on top. Just curls it around or I don't know. rips it off? I didn't create missionary oh. numbers or, <laughs> or, or, the or this thing you just made up. <laughs> you literally made it up just now. Just think of it. She could do it, right? We just had hey, to be squozing in there. Women can do anything. Yeah. Okay? You put you put your mind to it. It's 2019. Can, the woman can be on top in missionary. Yeah, and fuck you with your own dick. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Quirky fact of the week. <laughs> Pales in comparison to what we've been talking about. In 2007, an iguana at Antwerp Zoo called Mozart had to have his penis amputated as his erection had lasted seven days. So Damn. that's that. So, Scott, one of the other things we're going to carry over from Halloween month, at least for this uh, one uh, week, because you and I have been watching a lot of horror movies lately, as we had horror movie recommendations throughout the month of October. We want to continue those because we've been watching some good horror movies. And honestly, we might just uh, randomly throw these out because we love watching horror movies. People who listen to the podcast know that. Um, you watched excuse me, a couple on Netflix, which... Uh, notoriously has been weak in the horror department, but has been strengthening their game lately. Uh, and you've got a couple of uh, of examples of that. I do, but while you were talking, I googled uh, missionary with woman okay. on top, and basically it's a uh, when the woman straddles the man on top. But I couldn't find it where the man spreads his legs and then the woman gets on top. Okay, like a man would on a woman. Well, I, I definitely have seen where like a guy has his where a woman's like like still riding it, but the guy's like legs are pinned behind the woman's shoulders. And she's doing like a weird on top, so it's a half. It's a weird. I can't remember the name just, of it. Just think it's, like, it's in the car. Just think about like a woman lays on her back, spreads her legs. Guy gets down in the middle and thrusts. Yeah, same thing, but reversed. Okay, yeah. Uh, but I did find an article called uh, "Women on Top is the Most Dangerous Sex Position." Scientists conclude. Why is there like a dick breaking thing that can happen, uh, or is there like a like a blood rushing thing, or is it register because... for free to read this article? Uh, all, all I get is the first two and a half paragraphs. So we're just going to make it... Okay, how about we make it up from here on out? Why? Why do you think, Scientists Scott? Scientists have found that the position dubbed cowgirl is responsible for half of all penile fractures yes. in the bedroom. Okay. Yeah. Dot, 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 dot. I because, cause, cause, man, if you've, if, you've got, if you've got a woman who's just going to town, that's, that's, a sign of, that's, a, that's a sign of some good sex right there. If you end up with a dick fracture, that means things were going right. Technically, uh, if you uh, rip the skin at the base of the dick, the, the long skin part, the skinny part, yeah, um, and you heal, your dick will be longer after by a quarter inch. So if you, it's, it's sort of like a, like it's, mud, a, it's sort of like it's when a you, lose win. Well, it's sort of like when you uh, like lift weights and stuff. You're fracturing, you're you're, you're ripping, you're you're tearing little tears yeah. in your in your muscles, and they're making them bigger when they repair. Yeah. So if well, you can do little, little the do tears, the doctor can't quite, I guess, sew the two back together. I guess they have to make it. They have to lengthen it somehow because yeah. otherwise it would go. Yeah, go. it's just like a it's just like a flat rubber band at that point, you know. But you know, a hey, uh, no 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 worries here. We no, right. nothing nothing interrupted anything there. Uh, oh, and uh, actually, I do want to say this. Speaking of uh, unwanted interruptions that nobody heard, um, I believe I have a um, uh, uh, carbon monoxide detector slash smoke detector that is a low battery. Yeah, and every once in a while it goes beep. So yep. if nobody will hear that probably had, on this, but just so if you hear it, you know you're not going crazy. I had one of those a week and a half ago, and it was just a nine volt. And I it just sounds it, like a squeak. It's it like a chair awesome. squeak. It's and like, it was awesome. I fixed it. Yeah. And then a week later, I hear the same beeping sound again, and I'm like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" So I take it off the wall and I go back to bed, and I keep hearing the beeping sound. Even it's though some, I took it's the battery. Well, you, you probably have like ten of them we in your home. Though. We you have, have a two, large home. We have two a foot apart from each other. Oh, okay. One yeah. is wired into the house, and one is freestanding. Yes. I don't know why, but the other one required a. Give me two seconds. A C one two three L V. You can make it up things. Battery. Okay, but it's like one of those weird it's, ones it's you gotta one buy the, from Radio Shack. It, it doesn't exist anymore. It looks like a, a C battery and an A battery had sex and created this weird squat monstrosity, and I had to buy them off of Amazon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where you buy everything now. Yeah, basically, you I used thought, to be able oh, to go to Radio, Radio Shack. Radio Shack. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you're like, oh, you can't go there because uh, they died. Radio yeah, it's like, down. oh, you could probably get it at Walmart. They have almost everything. I'm like, but they never stock. Yeah, yeah. Walmart uh, doesn't have any staff, so all their shelves are empty. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you, uh, we, you, I think you mentioned that recently. I was. Yeah, they have scabs. Which that's gotta. Well, be... they don't have scabs because they. Well, they. they just... that, that's that's gotta be they like. That's like gonna Jama be tough. They're, they're, they're this Jamaicans. Is, this is. And the... We live in Vermont. That's weird. This is the toughest. No, they're flying people in. Like they're they're desperate. Like they're they're flying people in who they could they they can they cannot staff, which is terrifying because. It is the we're getting into Christmas. What month happened here. to high schoolers doing fucking Walmart and bagging grocery jobs and 
What happened to what happened to that? Uh, Where'd well, they go? The thing is though, I think they're still around, but then I remember for a while like I think they just adults too much adults got really like pissed that people were like teenagers were getting those jobs and stuff and like those jobs were meant for teenagers. Unfortunately, we live in a society where uh unfortunately a lot of like Adult. adults need these shitty jobs that used to just go to teenagers like adults are working on like fucking yeah, burger king in, in stuff. the 60s it was fine and you they came back to, from yes. vietnam you have shell shock as they called yeah. it back then yes now yeah PTSD. ptsd and they're like fine we'll let you work at burger king because you know like if you worked at any other business a loud noise would scare you yeah yeah and instead yeah just yeah instead just put them on a fucking it like a portable napalm unit french fries that's, french fries that's the movie i want it is is uh PTSD. PTSD. pts joe back from vietnam working the fry later hey donald just ah! just scaring the shit out of 15 year old kids yeah. working next to me like, see these fries if you squint just right it looks like the innards of a Viet Cong. yeah that's right i used to eat those were ran out of rations have you called them mres <laughs> i called this Damn, I can't think of a thing fast enough that's also racist, gross, and applicable. Because in yeah, 1960s, PTSD, you want you, you, you want to see my baby ear necklace? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can see it. You're wearing it. It's clearly baby ears. Yeah. Oh, they're dried up pretty good, yeah. so they're a little smaller than they used to be. Yeah. Don't let the side fool you. These were these were hell to fucking skin. I tell you that much. Yeah, I'm sick of 80s nostalgia at this point, and 70s nostalgia is uh, good. But if we can get it, actually, you know what? 70s nostalgia is where we need to go because that would be PTS show. 1969 comes back from the war, early 70s. But I, but I feel like, but like uh, 70s nostalgia it. was like in the 90s, right? Like the early 2000s. Like that's the thing is we're only going forward. We're into 90s nostalgia now. I can dig 90s nostalgia. Well, what's going to happen when we get into the odds? Because there's no nostalgia for the odds. Are we all going to be... We don't think there is until, like, we get later. I don't think... Oh, I, I bet in the 90s we didn't think there was ever going to be nostalgia for the 90s. Are we really going to all be like, oh, I can't wait to hear that... Uh, Smash that Mouth! Yeah, or uh, Lincoln Park, or even those are like we're talking late nineties. Actually, we're, no, like, we're even there. Lincoln Park was two thousand, early two thousands. Yeah. yeah, 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 early two thousands. Eminem was yeah, late nineties, early like ninety nine plus. You know, so, uh, so yeah, I can't even imagine the nostalgia for the odds. Nothing happened during them. We don't think we, so. We had, but, a, we had Obama. We didn't, but we that didn't, was the best thing. But here's the, the thing: odds. we didn't grow up in that time, so I bet you a lot of people have definite, distinct, rem like, memories of 20, 2000 to 2010 versus 2010 to 2020. I bet there are some people who have very distinct memories because of how they grew up that way. It right. doesn't seem distinct now, but no, for people it, you, who grew up you know, in it, you know why definitely it doesn't sound do. distinct? Because it wasn't? Because, because right now, in 2019, I can look back and be like, 1980s, remember when no one could call you when you were outside? That, you know, that's true. Remember, that's very distinct, yes. Remember yes. when cars didn't drive well, what, themselves? No, well, how about remember in the early 2000s when we had flip phones? So like, 2005 was when YouTube was out, you know? Like, still, that's in the 20 odds, but it was... But, the, if, but yeah. if you cover the odds, you're going to have to deal with the fact that it looks exactly like now. Almost the same clothes. It's true. Same... Uh, iPhones came out, iPods came out, yep, we yep, had yep. Technology, yep. we had computers. 2007, 2005, yeah. Everything we have now. Yep. The odds and now are almost no different. Like, progress completely halted about 15 years Well, I mean, years oh, just ago. things got faster. We have the same stuff, but it's faster and of the AI. Same stuff, and AI is But happening. of the same yeah. stuff. So I, I bet you, uh, in, I bet the 2030s or whatever is going to look different because we're just going to be fucking robots. Yeah, the 80s. And remember, we're going to be looking back like, oh man, remember when you just couldn't, like, dial up a robot and fuck it? And now all, like, now there's just like a island of women, an island of men, an island of men over here, fucking robots. And then the cum from the robots goes drifts off to a, on a, a on a barge over to the women island, and they impregnate themselves and have babies, and then they separate them. I think that's the future. Yeah, I think that's my problem yeah. is that no big changes Come have happened island. in almost twenty years. None. All the tech that existed twenty years ago is just well. No, I, I, and I would smaller. say I would say ten. Yeah, like let's say two thousand seven. I'll give you fifteen. Two thousand. No, no, because the because we're we're talking like smartphone era. We're, when when was the first smartphone? Like two thousand seven or whatever. Two thousand five, sure. two thousand seven, whatever it was. That's twelve. You, years. YouTube, YouTube was two thousand five. Yeah. So you know we're we're talking ten ish years. Just saying, yeah. same tech. Mm -hmm, yeah. Same tech, just smaller, faster. All right. It's oh. not. It's not like suddenly we have flying cars and <laughs> yeah, androids. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, it's true. It's true. But we, yeah. No, or, I, or, I, the, or the air is toxic. I, I get that. Yeah. The biggest change we have right now is Trump. Yeah, I think that actually and might the rise of white supremacy. If anything, the teens of the twentieth century, twenty first century, might be the biggest. I, I, change. I just think what we consider like small like distinctions are are probably bigger in, uh, to the people who grew up with them in their childhood. Yeah, that's because they're dumb. They have no past experiences or vantage points to compare things. Oh. What is what? What do people say now? Okay, boomer. Even though you're uh, not a millennial, <laughs> or exennial. Sorry, we're exennials. You know, I think about exennials. I had to explain to uh, one of my bosses today, who is a boomer. Um, 
uh, who I was like, because he was like, oh, are you a millennial? I'm like, well, technically millennials, I'm too old to be a millennial because they don't want us. And uh, Generation Xers thinks we're, think we're like, oh, you're too young. You're too close to a millennial. So we do have that micro generation that we are a part of. Yep, you and 77 I, to 83. Yeah, yeah. You and I fit, fit the bill. Yep. Yeah. Where are we, you, pretty but, much everyone yeah. we went to high school with who we were friends with are Xennials. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, speaking, Except for those assholes who killed those people in Dartmouth. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. Fuck those guys. Millennials. They're, they're millennials. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer, uh, Boomer. Uh. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, fuck those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking millennials, man. So entitled to taking lives. All right. Anyway, so, uh, More Netflix. Yes. Um, yeah, I have two from Netflix. Uh, forgive me for not straying into, like, shutter territory or anything else. But no, no, I actually like the fact. It, it was because, easy. It was because, easy because, to digest. Because, I'm, because it, it, I, I've, been, I, I've been trying to, like, branch out because... Netflix does have some good stuff, but it's good. To, uh, mo- more people have Netflix, so it's good for us to just be like, instead of being get shutter, get shutter, get shutter. Some people out there are casual horror movie viewers that don't. Yeah. Uh, they're not going to spend five bucks a month, so let them know what they can I, watch that are great things to watch on their extre- uh, existing streaming yeah. services. I have uh, I have two, and I'll just rattle through these real quick. No pun intended for my second one. Uh, Eli is being shoved down everyone's <laughs> throat. Rattle. I get it. Yeah, they don't. Okay. <laughs> uh, Eli uh, basically is being shoved down everyone's th- everyone's throats as like the main screen movie for a lot of people, like the big banner one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I watched it because of that, and it's horror. I was like, yeah, why not? Fuck it. Uh, it's good. It has I've... some twists. Uh, I did not see the ending coming, and visually, uh, as it progresses, it is stunning. I actually wanted who the director is and see if they've done other things because I'll probably go back and watch their catalog now. The visual horror aspects of it are great and I, I i have not watched it yet but uh, i have heard good things from you and also from uh uh like a group we belong to both on facebook there has been people mentioning good things about it there and i heard uh, i think it was one of my buddies other buddies who have said good things nothing but good things so far i've heard about it so uh, i am sold on that and it's hard to sell me on like netflix stuff but Netflix has been stepping their game up. It's so. uh, it's great. In fact, I recently watched The Perfection, which is not one of my recommendations, but should have been probably. Yeah. But uh, that's another great one on Netflix. Don't uh, don't read a synopses or reviews of Eli. Go and, go uh, and to horror go movies cold. in general. Go honestly, yeah. Go cold. Get, get, because if you, go because and, you don't know what's going on from every moment to every other moment. And as soon as you think you figured it out, yeah, didn't one of those yeah. kind of movies. Uh, I, sec- I think that's 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 solid for like most horror movies. I mean, honestly, like maybe you watch a trailer if you want to like know if you're gonna like like the vibe. But honestly, if you hear a recommendation, bl- going in blind for horror movies is really important. I think, in my my opinion. Yeah. Uh, oh, and uh, one of the 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 there's a girl in the movie, like the only little girl in the movie, if you will. I think she's a teenager or whatever. But um, she uh, she's from uh, Stranger Things. She's the red haired girl. Okay. Not Stranger Things. Uh, yeah, Stranger Things. Wait. Yeah, Stranger Things. Sorry, I confuse that and it now because they're so similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to even share Finn Wolfhard in that. Yeah. Yes, the red-haired girl from Stranger Things, not the yeah, red-haired Max, girl from right? It, who are both red-haired <laughs> girls with a group of boys in the eighties. Yes, but Max, Max <laughs> from Stranger Things is, is the, in it. Yeah, I, <laughs> okay. I believe that's the one who's in okay. it. Okay, I gotcha. Um, and my second one is Rattlesnake, which is way more indie and way harder to find. You have to kind of do a little digging or just use the search engine. Yeah, but for me, I, did, I didn't know to search for it, so I did some digging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, like uh, you're bound, so that's that's why these recommendations. Yeah, are great. that one. Uh, I'll give it. you a basic plot synopsis because there's no real mystery to it. Uh, a woman's daughter gets bitten by a rattlesnake, almost dies. A uh, mysterious woman heals her, and then in the hospital, after when the doctors like she was never bit by a rattlesnake, she seems fine, just tired. Uh, someone visits her and says, we'll reverse what we did to fix her unless you go out right now and you have seven hours to kill someone else to replace her soul that should have gone Very to cool. wherever. Very cool. So she's now in a town she's never been in before trying to figure out which person to kill. Which person to kill. Yep. And it's a... Uh, to save... To sa- essentially to save, save her, daughter. her daughter who was going to die but now could potentially die again if she doesn't... And she, she didn't even know if this is bullshit either. It's probably, uh, so. it's really well written, really well acted, really well shot. Nice. Uh, very, very highly recommended. I, I like I like those little uh, nuggets because that's the, one of the uh, beauties of being a horror movie fan is you try to find those little bits, you know, because you, you, there's so many bad ones out there. So when you find a, a nugget that's really good, you love it. Um, I'm going to go... First one, I am going to go Shudder, and then the other one, I'm not. Um, the first one, Shudder, once again, going in blind is pretty good. Uh, one Cut of the Dead... I cannot recommend this movie enough to any human being on the planet. It's the most fun I have had watching a horror movie probably since Shaun of the Dead, I will honestly say. Um, it is... Uh, it's going to be marketed as a zombie comedy. Don't take that uh, as just... The, it, it also... 
if you're watching like the first like 15, 20 minutes of it and you're like, this is, seems like just a, like a boring found footage thing, give it time. I don't want to give you any more information than that except for you don't know what you're in for until after the first 30 minutes, essentially. Part of me feels like so, I watched part of this movie before. You you may have? I Kelly don't know. And I watched a movie very similar to the premise of this about it two years ago, and I know we didn't Oh, no, it wouldn't be two years ago. This is, uh, this is le- like a year old, yeah. It okay, ca- it so came we, out, yeah, it came out in 2018. And, I, I'll ask my wife. And 2019 is it, it was it was in the uh, it was in the the festival circuit in 2018. Barely hit uh, uh, the the VOD about a month ago. So okay, I'll yeah. ask my wife about the other one because it was very similar feeling and sounding, and it was amazing. Yeah, we watched that one based on this, watching, this one. No, uh, this one is the th- Toxic Adventure movie where he goes to Japan. Oh, okay, yeah, which oh, is I love that also one. Yeah. fucking yeah. amazing. That one, yeah, any all the Toxic Adventure. I think that was. Four. It might have been three, four. Three all four, the toxic four, adventure yeah. movies are they're, great. They're all great. I, I actually, I recently, I mean, I say that like a year or so ago, watched all of them back to back to back to back. Um, so anyway, one cut of the dead again. Uh, give it, give it time because at first I mean, it's still going to be fun at first, but you're and you're going to be amazed at the fact that um, there's a like about thirty minutes, which is literally one. It's one take, one cut. And it's actually really amazingly done. But then after that, you're going to be blown away at the cleverness of this damn movie. It's more of a comedy than a horror, but definitely uh, worth watching. I cannot say enough about it. Um, I was blown away. Anyway, in the next one, I was also blown away by this is Jennifer Kent's follow up to The Babadook on Hulu. Uh, It dropped pretty quietly on November 1st. um, And it is a really tough watch. Uh, I don't give trigger warnings for much, but the two that I will give trigger warnings for are pretty significant, which are multiple sexual assaults and inf- infanticide, uh, which are both things that could potentially trigger uh, people. So I, I actually, you know, regular violence, you're expecting that in horror movies. These are pretty, like, uh, tough things. Anyway, so I would uh, highly recommend The Nightingale if you have that to stomach. Why would it, that it, it is... commit suicide? Um you know what? Just didn't like his mama's. Isn't that, isn't that what infanticide means? Sure, Scott. <laughs> anyway, twenty-seven minutes in, we're ready to get to the show proper, into the meat and potatoes of what we call web drop. <laughs> All right, starting out with um, something that actually could be considered a carryover from Halloween month because it sounds like the start. We're going to carry over Halloween month into November because we don't give a shit about Thanksgiving. Oh, actually, yeah, that's right. Actually, I didn't even realize like that the web droppings are both actually kind of horror related. Oh, that's we talked about it. Last you were sick last week. No, we we talked about it last week, but I, I did not intend that to be oh, the I case. Did. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sweet. It's just, okay. <laughs> I was only sweet. searching for. I, I no. This is I just the found only good other stories, Jeremiah. This is the only good story I found, and it just happened to be something that sounds like it starts. Oh, I thought you were on point. That's why I followed up with the next. I story. mean, I was. I edited all of that out that you just heard. <laughs> Which you didn't hear because I edited it out. I didn't edit it out. I don't have that fu- fucking energy. Anyway, um, <laughs> one million cannibal ants trapped in Soviet nuclear bunker. And who counted them? Have escaped! But who counted them? Uh, scientists. What else one, did they do? Two, yeah. Stop moving! Stop moving! One, Wait, do we count that two. one twice? Stop let's just moving. let's just say a million. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Literally, they counted to two, and then just were like a million. That's, it looks like that's a million. How I see it. Yeah, they brought the ant Rain Man in. It's just like def- <laughs> de- de- definitely a million, definitely a million cannibal ants. Why are you letting them eat me? And, oh, it's because you think I'm retarded. And then okay. They pushed him. Into yeah, the yeah, pit. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, you're done with yeah. When the when less and uh, when less vaccinated kid in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny McCarthy's kid. <laughs> yeah, Rain Man McCarthy. Can't believe you called him Rain Man. You named him that. Rain Man McCarthy, you're done for. <laughs> I might have to call this episode Rain Man McCarthy. <laughs> you might. Just add that to the notes. Yeah, okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, you, so... You read the story, I'll add it to the notes. So, a colony of up to one million ants trapped in a nuclear bunker uh, for years. This, they, they were originally discovered in 2013, have escaped, um, scientists in Poland have said. Uh, the ants had no food source other than their own dead nest mates. They were first discovered in 2013. Um, they were found to be solely made up of worker ants originally, which uh, meant that they no queen. aren't. Yeah, they're, so they're not supposed to re- uh, be able to recreate. However, their numbers grew recreate. so large. <laughs> 
reproduce. We have, we, <laughs> Procreate, we've reproduce. Got, we've got a we got a childless man here. Yeah. Recreate. <laughs> Our friend the other day had a baby. His wife recreated. <laughs> Thank you for calling me on that. It's procreate or reproduce. <laughs> recreate. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, I like to go to that recreation center, you know, where you just fuck people and have babies. No, that's just for kids to hang out on playgrounds. Okay. Anyway, so they were wondering, uh, even though they couldn't recreate how their numbers <laughs> grew so large, was a mystery. Um, so uh. what ended up happening, they found out uh, years ago, uh, they 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 discovered this and they just they they decided that uh there was a nest on top of this uh silo uh this old nuclear silo and what ended up happening at some point it collapsed and these ants got sucked uh, not sucked down they fell into the silo and had to fend for themselves in this nuclear bunker um and they were like okay they'll just die out or whatever they definitely won't get larger and you know whatever um Turns out that uh, when they revisited it uh, much, much years later, 2016 was the next time, uh, where they discovered that they were actually um, cannibalizing themselves to um, survive, uh, but for, like, somehow they were also recreating or of some kind. And I'm fucking doubling down, bitch. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the thing. Um, <laughs> anyway, so they know that, like, these things, you know, they, they set up in uh, weird places. Um, and you know, they, they, they didn't surprise them at first, but the fact that they actually, uh, found more of them after the fact was, uh, disturbing. And now they are no longer, well, no, they're not, they're not, they're still there, but they have now escaped the bunker. Yeah. They allowed them to escape by putting a plank down. Yes. And, uh, a few are still yes. there. I should, but they shouldn't say escaped. They were let out of the bunker. I think the most astonishing thing in this entire story is the fact that after so many years and, you know, rain, this is, this weather, is, et cetera, this is, uh, they, they managed to follow six, their, six years now. Yeah. They managed uh, yeah. to follow their own, well, I'm guessing a fresher chemical trail. Yes. But they were able to yeah. recognize it, pick up on it, and yep. go back to the original hive. To which, at that so point, they, they, that they hive... had to survive in their organization without the queen or anything like that. Yeah. And they were like, that's about ants being all about survival. And they're yeah. like, well, fuck it. All right. These, these uh, you know, Donner Party ants just, you know, suck each other down, suck each other off. Uh, I, have, I have a point to make, but you mentioned Donner Party. And I was listening to a podcast the other day, and they were talking about the Donner Party. And they literally said, isn't it ironic that when they went through the Donner Gap, it was named after them? <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, it's really weird that who would have thought that the Donner Party would be the ones that die in yeah, Donner, 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 Donner Pass or whatever Yeah, yeah Donner Pass, yeah. Yeah, and I was just yeah. like, oh my fucking God. Yeah. Wait, uh, wait, wait, they were joking, though. No, it was just, it was a faux pas. It was a slip of the It was top. just a dipshit who didn't realize well, it. Well, was... someone who just said something and kept pushing past, you know okay, what I mean? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. That's funny, though. That's, that's good. Yeah, it was that, I mean, That's like me using, I mean, not exactly, recreate, like, yeah. recreate. I mean, that's not exactly the same thing. It's a little a little more ridiculous but um so oh, yes i was gonna bring up another point here um it was the uh the idea that like say you're the original hive you you slowly over years lose a trickle of ants because literally that this uh this million ant hive yes without a queen was basically they, 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 they said hundreds of thousands whatever. maybe a million whatever yeah they, they, but yeah it was they, because they, they, they know it's falling a lot. down a hole Yes. And getting stuck yeah. that was it they just it was accidental yeah. and a bunch of work yeah and, and there, there was a hive there. yeah exactly but can you imagine all those going down there? Someone puts a plank out so they can all escape. The hive's running fine. They've got enough food for winter. Yep. They've got one queen. All of a sudden, a million, million like, new ants yeah. come in. It's, like, it's, like, it's a stream of <laughs> they haven't, they, they haven't And they're like, all cannibals yeah. and crazy yeah. from being in this hole. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Look at that queen. They I haven't seen one of those in a long time. I'm going to fuck that queen. Yeah. Or, oh, boy. Or, or, like, you know, an ants just... Oh, and a million like, ant fucking queen orgy? Oh, that's the sexiest porno I've ever or seen. Or just ants fucking die. Like, one falls and dies. And all of a sudden, 12 of these new guys go over and just start eating him. Yeah, yeah. And all the other ants are walking by going, the fuck? Right, no, you're supposed, to, car you're supposed yeah. to carry him to the graveyard. Yeah, yeah but, but, yeah, but, but they can grow fungus off his corpse that they then harvest. Yes. Like, they, they, have, they have agriculture. Exactly. But they're instead, they just, ants, they're but instead they're like zombies. They're yeah. like, ah, and they eat him. This is like this is like a dual level, uh, actually this would be a cool dual level um, uh, horror movie where, one, the ants just being like radioactive or something because of a nuclear bunker, which isn't part like, of this. Replace ants with so, Walmart workers. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> no, no, but this, this is yeah, like so. You would definitely have that like radioactive ant type story, which I've seen plenty of like those kind of movies where yeah. fun them back in the fifties. Uh, uh, Marabunta, which is like similar, but more of like just killer ants instead, uh, like uh, in the in the nineties, maybe early two thousands, probably. Um, and uh, so you got that kind of thing, but then you can also switch to a second POV, like uh, DreamWorks Ants movie style, Bugs Life style, where then you see also the horror happening inside the hive with these other ants going. So it's like a dual level thing. These ants are killing humanity, but then also underneath, they're wreaking havoc on their own hive. So you have this duality, and then it switches to a fun little animated sequence when they switch down to because you, you clearly can't have live action. They just cut, CGI, cut I guess. Just dubbed scenes from ants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I want to dub ants. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to type in a note, dub ants, just and dub, then and, and then I'm going to look at it two years from now and no no idea what I'm talking about because that's what all of my notes on my iPhone are like. I, I look at them, I'm like, oh, this is a great idea. And I fucking come up with this drunk idea. And then I look at it two years later, I'm like, dub ants? Really, take all the Woody Allen parts <laughs> and just make them sexual about a younger ant? Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh yes. That's uh, my Woody Allen impression because I didn't Woody remember. Woody Allen. He stutters kind of. He stammers. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, 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 oh, 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 yeah. I'm, 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 what was his daughter's oh. name that he married? Sung Lee or something like that. Yeah, like a, I, so, I'm so, trying to think so, if so I could so do this. Oh, like a... No, that's Asian. Uh, <laughs> she, they, she's, she's Asian. Well, that doesn't mean you can just use that for his voice. <laughs> oh, son of I know you are all my stepdaughter. Uh, I, uh, do, do, oh, so, I can so, uh, so live ye. another day soon ye without me and ye. <laughs> well, ruin that. <laughs> Yeah, we all ruined Woody Allen's relationship for everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, fuck me for that. I mean, Jesus. No, well, sorry, sorry, Woody Allen was he had a, a national treasure. Yeah, yeah, he was a national treasure. He definitely wasn't a creep ball who fucking so my off definitely on molested point. his daughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, know, you know he used the voice in bed with her. That that voice. That Asian voice you just made up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You did, you channeled his molesting voice just now. Yeah. Is what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, oh yeah. The voice of a uh, uh, Woody Allen is uh, uh, coming for me. Yes. Yeah. Do you uh, like uh, what I got you for your 18th birthday? It is a box and a uh, man. Man, I'll be all dick inside. Uh, it's a right, uh, and by that I mean that's L I G H T right. <laughs> This gift it's a fresh right. <laughs> this gift is a related X. And by that I mean L A T E D X I said Latex. I said I said lated. <laughs> Ratex <laughs> Anyway, we're good. What is my day job? I uh I lit Ratex <laughs> Wait, you writ Ratex? What what latex? I late Ratex. You know that you don't just swap the letters, right? No, they both become the opposites. Both. No, that's not yes, the way. Do. That's not yes, the way the do. stereotype works. That, that is. That is. Nope. Yeah. Nope. L's become R's, and that's it. And R's become. L's. No. Why did they wouldn't just use L for L then? I like you very much. Will you like me? <laughs> oh wait, now am I racist? <laughs> wait, I just got confused. <laughs> you just used it like you're supposed to. What's the Reich other, isn't it? What's yeah. the other letter? There's another letter that gets messed up. Oh, I, I Reich to go yeah, to. Yeah, become, L becomes R. What's yeah. the other one? I think that's, that's all I know. Thought there was two. Well, I, you I, are more racist I, I, than I me. Like you're, double, need... you're double racist. I like no. I just like that. I'm so not that I get it wrong. You get it long is what you say. <laughs> Thank you. Can we move on to another story? <laughs> although, although wrong starts with a W, so I don't know how that would, one would work. <laughs> it's just, yeah, but it starts with the sound of a... Oh, so it starts with a letter, of, even though it starts with the sound it, it of an sounds R. sounds like an R, but it starts with a W, it becomes an yeah, F sound. Yeah. <laughs> Thong. <laughs> we should just confuse racist Southerners with our own... Like badly racist, made up racist Asian shit. Yeah. vernacular, and yeah. be like, "This is the, these are these are the rules." Yeah, and start with the one everyone knows, the RL. 
But then yeah. also be like, you always reverse them, period. Yeah. And then also be like, if a W is in front of an Makes R, sense. but you still hear the R sound, it's an F sound. It's an F sound. And they yeah. just keep keep going with those yeah. rules. Just keep and then slowly in. tweak it so you just teach them proper English. <laughs> in the end, it's just an elaborate it's grammar end. lesson. Oh, well, I do say. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wait, are you speaking like a racist Asian? <laughs> and then an Asian butler walks in and he suddenly kicks in with some of the worst shit you've ever heard. But his normal English speak is perfect. Perfect. Exactly. Yep. All right. Next story. We got plenty, right. plenty up, but we got like two or three different uh, story, uh, uh, new contents out of that. All right. Uh, well, this one I brought to the table. Yes, uh, girl in Carrie costume crashes car and freaks out Good Samaritans and first responders. Yes, as you can imagine. Oh, so this was not like a major crash. It was just like she hit a deer. Okay. So a West Virginia woman totaled her car while clad in a blood drenched Carrie costume and immediately. She knew she was about to genuinely terrify someone, and is that is exactly what she did. Yes, because what did you do? Like, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. You come out of the car, like... A uh, quote from her was, uh, I remember sitting there in shock, smelling the smoke from the airbag, and thinking, I'm dressed as Carrie White. It looks like I've been mangled in a really terrible accident. Uh, the 20, 20-year-old told the Daily News in a phone interview. Uh, again, a pop-up on Daily News. No, I'm not interested in subscribing to I No, I just had to click the same damn thing. God damn, <laughs> Daily News. Yeah. Uh, Quote again, a really nice Good Samaritan came over and he was immediately freaked out, she recalled. I was mo- I motioned I was okay, trying to say it's makeup, but he was already on his phone. Then a whole sh- the whole shebang, I like she used the word shebang yeah. as a 20 year old. That's like a fucking 45, 90 year old yeah. word. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a West Virginia teenage word. Then the whole shebang started. The car was in smithereens everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting West Virginia accent you got there. <laughs> like yo, a 1940s yo, newsman. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> yeah, okay. 1940s newsman. The, the guy was in yeah. smithereens everywhere. Yeah. Y'all. Tw- 20 year old uh, cute girl, Sydney Wolf, speaks like a 1940s newsman. Oh my Continue. God. If I was single and she did, I'd smash that. Yeah, it's, yeah. she's actually pretty cute. Honestly? She's pretty cute. Honestly. Yeah. Um, three ambulances and two fire trucks arrived on the scene. A, g- a good costume by the looks of it too. It, it's a great yeah, costume. Li- li- the blood, the blood, the liberal blood use is pretty good. I gotta say, a- a liberal blood in that costume. Yep. Yeah, even though she's <laughs> from West Virginia, it's not a, a liberal as a blood. I know. Man. I was waiting yeah. for you to pick yeah. up on that. Yep. Uh, she was driving a 2014 Toyota Camry. Nice car for a 20 year old. Her good. daddy must have bought that for her when she was 16. Yeah. When he. F- <laughs> what? What? I was going to make a Dude, really you... bad rape joke. Wow. <laughs> I was going to say when he fucked her and felt bad about it, and it's like, you don't tell your mommy about that baby inside. He, is, Virginia, uh, is Virginia south enough for those jokes? Uh, West Virginia is. Is it? Okay. I mean, it's actually less south than Virginia, but it's 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 souther by the by the, uh, by the the redness of it. Yeah, well, that's the Appalachia, man. That's like... Fair enough. Um, uh, actually, uh, if it's in the like, suburbs or something, no, it's not. It, absolutely not. Yeah, but. she was driving back from a uh, promotion for the production of Carrie the Musical that was set for Halloween night. Oh, she was in a musical. No, she's a liberal. Okay. Yeah, and uh, she was dressed to the T in the costume. Uh, basically, Very good. The, the, Very good. the pig blood costume. She was wearing the prom oh, so this gown. Wasn't, so this wasn't, oh, this was uh, 20, oh, because this wasn't like Halloween proper. I assumed it was a Halloween story. Like she was just dressed for Halloween. She was actually going for this like This was a, a few days before Halloween. Oh, okay. We're just getting oh, the news now. No, cool, yeah. Cool, okay. Uh, she suffered only a small bruise in her right leg, luckily. And she said that a deer came out of nowhere and she hit it. Yeah, um, no, yeah, it looks like that. I mean, we, we've hit deer and, you know, uh, punched them. I like this. She says, um, I did call 911 dispatchers myself and explained I just got a wreck, but I'm covered in Halloween makeup. Please don't be scared. Yes. And she said, the cops were still... <laughs> no, yeah. they showed up. No, literally. Yeah. She said, the cops were still frightened when they saw me. No one knew it was fake Which blood. is a testament to the, the, the costume. My... It's, it's, it's yeah. good. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. It actually is. The pictures are great. And it looks like somebody who could have been brutalized in a car crash. Like, it's bleeding from her head, like, and just right. And it's it's it's, it's quality stuff. I like this. I, I, I hope she, like... So did she did she have the part already? I know. Uh, yes, yes. She was okay, so she was promoted. she was actually okay. Cool. Uh, okay. I like this. Even after she spoke to several first responders and explained she was okay, a new traffic cop in the scene walked up and needed a new round <laughs> of syringes. Yep. She. This is her quote. I was out of the car, fully responsive, joking, and I was still in full costume. And one of the new cops said, "Guys, I really hate to interrupt, but doesn't she need medical attention? Are we just ignoring the fact that she's bleeding?" <laughs> yes. And like, I would have loved to be one of the cops. Go yes. 
And then just keep joking. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. the doctor said, yeah. I can't find this stethoscope. And everyone laughs. Yeah. And the guy's like, ah! Yeah, yeah. Ah! Yeah, yeah. And then she's like eating a like bottle of mayonnaise. <laughs> like, just, like she's yeah. at a baseball yeah. game or a football game. Oh, yeah. Th- that was that story, yeah. yeah that That's why story. mayonnaise is in my head. Yeah, don't do that. You're not that person. Uh, I didn't read the story. Vanilla pudding in a uh, mayo jar? Uh, I- any event to be eaten with a spoon? Hilarious. Real mayo? Go fucking... No, don't kill yourself. What, wait, but you was, already but are. Was, but was that... Because I, I, didn't, I didn't actually look at the story. I read the headline. I, I read they the ate headline. mayo out of a jar. But did, was it real mayo? We don't know. Okay. Because I didn't read the story. Did okay. you? I did not. Don't go looking for it. Okay. <laughs> keep, keep reporting on your thing. You're I'm touching not gonna your look keyboard. For I'm just playing with my brand new... Uh, MacBook Pro 15 inch 32 gigabyte 1 terabyte drive brand new Jason Northrup do you have a hard on yet this is my new no. computer I just got today um, if anyone wants to go find this story you can find Girl and Carrie costume uh, crashes car and freaks out first responders pretty easily on the interwebs and within that story there is a link to a GoFundMe because her car was new and was not paid off and now she doesn't know what she's going to do about transportation to work and whatnots. And also has to pay off that now wrecked car. Yeah. So there's a small GoFundMe up. And honestly, I don't know. It seems like a semi-good cause. If you uh, if you like a hot girl in a bloody costume, give her some money. That's honestly my dream. That's I, I sell things the way I want them sold to me. <laughs> That's the yeah yeah like that, that like I'm just like give, uh, here's my money here's my money. <laughs> You're yes. like here's my money. Ah, yes. Ah. Hot girl in. Like bloody that, that's I mean it's not the bloody god it's just like a, a hot girl who's like appreciative of horror movies yep. fucking that's it that's it for me now uh, we are gonna do a segment for the rest of this month uh, that is not news oriented it's back to some of our roots for the months following Halloween where we want to continue Halloween uh, a couple of years ago we did one for an entire month of December where we did uh, like cryptids from the uh, northern European regions that were Christmas related uh, I decided to dive into Native American cryptids. Because we have Thanksgiving coming up, and because of what we did to their once uh, proud nation, uh, this seems appropriate to kind of honor them and talk a little bit about their culture, their beliefs, and uh, not talk about Thanksgiving itself as a gluttonous <clears throat> Black Friday uh, shit show of shit. I fucking hate Thanksgiving. Yes. Uh, I will go to a friend's or relative's house and eat a shit ton of food, but I, no, yeah, I, no, that, I, that is the I, extent I, of it. I don't decorate. I don't do anything. No, 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 no. I, I don't celebrate any of the uh, like the standard Thanksgiving things. I use it as a reason to... The trapping. I, like, I, the, like the classic Indian trap. Yes. Or the classic Indian trap 2, now bigger. Or the classic Indian trap 3, we can <laughs> get three at once now. Yep. It's like a Venus flytrap, a bear trap. No, no, no. But, I, I, but, I, but, I do. But, I just. But we covered it in things they like. I just, I just do the like the classic thing. I, I, I like, like I just like, big, I like, I like meal hang, people you love. That's uh, all. That like really a matters. big, I, a big meal, and we find Native American people, and we slaughter them, and we piss on their remains. My wife and I like starting a fire in the fireplace, curling up with a nice bottle of scotch, and. Laying down and making sweet, glorious love on top of an American skin, oh, American yes. Indian skin yes. blanket. Yeah. yeah, oh yes, those Native American blankets. Not the blankets, I mean, made of Native American. It's like a bear course. skin rug. Yes, but a Native American made of human skin. And luckily, did you nobody say a Native cares. American made of... Did you just say a Native American made of human skin? I did. <laughs> Are you denoting that Native Americans aren't human, Jer? You are talking about making love on top of their skin, so yes. So I don't think either one of us said anything worse than the other. No. Uh, I am like one twenty-eight billionth Native American, so I, think I pretty most, much can be like a name. Here. I think most of us are through all the rapes. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, for Native American cryptids, uh, we... I have, have, I, by the way, I've not read these, so yeah, you are, gonna, you are teaching me. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start the one. I put two in the notes, but we only have 12 minutes left, so we're going to see how fast we can get through these. I'm going to do the one I like better out of the two. The Red-Haired Giants. They do have a name, by the way. We'll get to that. Um, In 1926, uh, miners in Lovelock, Nevada, made a strange discovery in a cave after blasting through layers of bat feces that covered the cave walls. Guano! Guano. I learned that from... um school national geographic like discovery ace, ace channel ventura? before it was all about aliens and cars ace ventura sure Maybe. oh yeah that was mentioned in there was it somebody's like 
ate guano or something. Um, they discovered a cave behind this bat guano feces wall <clears throat> that they blasted through that had strange skeletons with unusual features. The skeletons measured in size from six and a half to eight feet in length. What? Far too tall. That's a big to be Native Americans. And they also had red what? hair. Like even like regular Americans yeah. now. And they I mean, also. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. that was not. No, what I meant is what I what I meant is modern day. We'll be back to the show in just a moment. We're having technical I difficulties. Le- I legitimately Whoopsie. apologize for that. I meant modern day American Scott. Can we can we can we stop? We can we stop this whole show? We need to retitle this episode "Regular (laughs) Americans." No, what what I meant is modern day Americans, uh, because people have gotten bigger as time has gone on. uh, But uh, modern day Americans, like six and a half feet tall, is tall. Like that's uh, that's that's Mister basketball player from China. uh, Yeah, Ben Kissel from uh, uh, last podcast on the left, six twelve. He's like six seven. He said he's, he's I'm like, for you to call out six twelve. That's just seven feet. seven feet. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, but yeah. But in other words, yeah. Like eight feet is way too tall. That's the taller than the tallest man, I think. So. Yeah. When they uh, made this discovery, uh, they talked to the uh, P A I U T E tribe, Paiute tribe. Yeah. Um, Paiute, because they, they were the local tribe that had Paiute, lived in this Paiute, region, Paiute, Paiute, near, yeah. that had lived near the caves for yeah. generations. Okay, yeah. This and, is Nevada, you said. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, the tribal elders then uh, said they had when they heard about the skeletons and the red hair, they were terrified, and they demanded the skeletons were returned immediately to the place where they were discovered. And what they ended up saying was that the uh, <clears throat> after the Paiute came into this region, they discovered the land was in possession of horrible red-haired monsters that lived like animals. These creatures, although man-like in appearance, did not possess magic or fire, which I think is an interesting distinction, meaning not, they didn't have the beliefs of the Native Americans or the ability to make fire. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, okay. Yep. And, uh, basically they were primitives that lived in an age of less primitive people. Okay. Um, the elders explained that they, uh, that when they moved in, the creatures called the Siteka would come and sna- sneak into their camps, steal their women for procreation, and their children for uh, I believe you mean food. recreation. Recreation. <laughs> steal their women for back. Hold it down, Jer. Hold it down. Never give up. I'm doubling down on recreation. Die on this anthill. <laughs> I, I will die on this anthill of recreation. <laughs> um... Yeah, the uh, the uh, peyote were uh, peyote. Yeah, I'm dabbling down on that now. <laughs> peyote Indians. Yeah. Why uh, else would you see giant red people? They were angry about these giants coming in, stealing their women and killing their kids. So they declared war on the giants because these creatures lacked intelligence. They were easily defeated. Uh, their warriors drove them into the Lovelock caves and murdered them all. And this is how the story goes. And that's how the lore is gone. Uh, the only thing we have to go on this that could dispel this rumor is that. <sighs> the skeletons may not have been as big as eight feet tall. They, those may have been rumors spread by the miners. Apparently, the uh, people who don't know how to stack skeletons pe- properly. Pe- people are like, s- well, tibia, on tibia, on tibia, on tibia. Well, okay, I guess eight feet is good. Archaeologists did say that they were around seven feet tall, which is big. That's still that's still larger than uh, than the, the, the average. Archaeologists yeah. also said that they may not have had red hair when they were alive, but the hair that is brown can copper. Of During course, yeah, absolutely. Conditions of course, yeah. in decom- decomposition. Yeah, yeah. Um, they did uh, suppose that these uh, giants were trapped in the caves and had to cannibalize to survive because uh, some of the similar bones... to the ants. Yep, actually, very similar. Uh, exactly. Actually, yeah, they... <laughs> actually, <laughs> yeah. We did not. That's I mean, a one we for meant one. it. We yeah. meant to do this. Full circle, bitches. Well, they found some of the bones had been split up the middle to remove the marrow, meaning that someone probably feasted upon the bodies and got desperate enough to go for the marrow last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the marrow is like a good source of succulents. Yep. Um, the you gotta suck those bones. There are reports. You ever heard that of, saying? Yes. You gotta suck those bones. Yes, Scott. I've, wa- I've watched that. Video. You ever? You, you, you ever? You ever <laughs> typed in "suck those bones" on Pornhub? Yep. I've Any seen, Google seen, seen search? That, seen that suck video? Suck those bones. Gonna put that as a title. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> um, so, uh, samples from this cave have uh, been dispersed nationwide and are in different museums. Um, some over the years have been uh, put back in storage and lost. Some have been uh, mislabeled. 
basically what we're saying is there's very little proof of these skeletons existing to this date. In fact, the last nearly no, intact nobody, uh, mummified nobody, nobody... skeleton of one of these giants <clears throat> was boiled oh. not even four or five decades ago by a fraternal order as part of an initiation ceremony. So this for is a like the initiates. Illuminati or like a like an elf lodge or whatever. Yeah, 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 like yeah. That, yeah. And uh, but but so nobody bothered to mail a couple of bones to themselves for copyright purposes. No. Oh. Go back. Go back. Go back. Whoa! Suck those bones. That's my new. That's my new cash practice. <laughs> But uh, basically, this uh, this tribe has a rich, yeah, I, I long peaked, history I of believing so in their original ancestors settling in this region of Nevada, yeah. battling for the land against literal primitive giants who raped eight kids, had no fire, just, just were monsters well, in the woods. you know what they say about people who raped eight kids? Lesson nine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm glad you didn't say another word after that. Nope. I, I enjoy it as I enjoy it as it is. No, it, you know, in other words, could be worse. <laughs> you know, yeah, sure. Yeah. But also, you got to remember that um, this is a uh, uh, a tribal leader basically talking about a genocide committed by his people and giving yes. their one sided version of, of it. Of course, yeah, yeah. And if we were to use a one to one ratio on this for a uh, story of white colonizers, say. Similarly, talking about how they got rid of the savages on their land, yep. who did yep. X, Y, and Z. Yeah. It's, it's the people, it's the people yeah. who write the history books. They get to like, you know. To be fair, yeah. it might have been a different tribe of Native Americans who just happened to come from a different region of Europe, Asia, etc. Were taller through some. Maybe they ran across and the by, very by taller, straight. They were probably meaning, like like four inches taller. They're like, they, oh, they were six foot one. Maybe they lived on the plains and grew longer legs due to the flat grounds. Yeah. That's why we're getting taller. And they had brown people. hair instead literally, of dark bra- black hair. So well, literally, like it turns copper. You yeah. and I, as a species, right now we're evolving. Every generation is taller. Yes, it's right. If you go back two hundred years, the tallest person was like five six. Yep, yep, yep. Now That's the right. tallest I would, person, I would be average. Too average. Plus. Average plus. Average plus. <laughs> you have an average plus section I can shop in. That's like your mom telling you're husky, not fat. <laughs> no, honey, you're not short. You're average plus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> In in, in in 1640 times, you're average plus, honey. Exactly. Okay, let me fuck you, mom. Oh, oh. We were talking about a different thing earlier, and I realized I didn't circle that back, and now it just sounds like I want to fuck my mom. Not until coal gets in we were there. Talking Not about- until you get coal in your stocking. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Coal in your stocking. That's my dad raping me. It's so Christmas time. Dad is coming down my chimney, up my throat. Dad is coming. Coal is in my stocking. Yes, he makes snowmen by that. I means that he comes up. Upon my tummy, and he likes to lick it off and spit it back inside my mouth. I and am crying. That's the story of Christmas <laughs> crying, time. Crying, crying, crying. Christmas time. Christmas time. Christmas. Christmas crying, is for crying, crying, cause of crying. Christmas, crying, crying, crying. Christmas, crying, Christmas crying, and, and Christmas Mr. is for crying, crying cause we don't have anybody. Don't stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I don't even like the taste of coal. Get, Get lost. lost.